market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets right now barely in the in the negative. We had quite a seesaw evening. Dow futures right now, negative 34 points, trading at 26,271. S&P futures minus by about two at 29.16. NASDAQ futures minus by five, trading at 76.94. Oil up a bit, the 10-year yield 1.608%. We'll start things off. We're going to go right over to the story of the evening and speculation as in terms of U.S.-China trade talks. So overnight, you had the beginning of the action starting when the South China Morning Post reported Wednesday night that the high-level talks would only take place Thursday, essentially falling apart only one day of talks before they essentially almost began. Stock futures plunging on the beginning, but then you had a White House spokesman saying that the report was inaccurate. Futures are recovering. We'll jump over to the chart in a moment, and you'll be able to see this action. The principal negotiations in negotiations also told CNBC that they were going to have trade talks, and they had become fluid. And then the big part of this is that there was a report from Bloomberg saying they're going to thinking about suspending the tariffs in exchange for a currency pact. And then you even have a New York Times report saying that there's some sale of Huawei products. So quite a change from the story. Jumping back to the charts. And here's our Sunday night action. We'll jump through them quickly. That was the fall off on the report that the talks may fall off completely. We're now 275 Dow points above that level, back to even. NASDAQ 100 plunged below 7,600. We're at 7,694. There's the S&P 500 at 2,916. We were down there at about 2,882. Crude oil had volatility as well. We're a buck 50 above where we were trading at at 630 last night. And gold with some inverse action on that news. 1507 right now. And the euro US dollar, weaker dollar, stronger euro, 110.25. Stay tuned, folks. we got our man Larry Pesavento coming up right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom, live programming at, all day at TFNN. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great day.